Before we get started, I just want to say that I am recording this video before Manny Machado has officially been traded to the Dodgers. However, with all the sources that I have seen, this trade is all but confirmed by the clubs. So, Manny Machado has gone Hollywood. Not only is he one of the best shortstops in the game, but he is also one of the best players in the game. And Manny Machado going to the Dodgers changes a lot going forward into this season and even more going into the offseason. So what's up guys, my name is Dawson and today we are going to be discussing the Manny Machado trade and how it affects this year's season and seasons going into the future. So let's go ahead and get started. Manny Machado has been stuck in an Orioles organization that has struggled to find its identity while Machado was there. Sure, they made it to the divisional round of the playoffs, but other than that, they've just been stuck at the 500 club or below. There were rumors that Manny could have been traded this past offseason, but the Orioles actually thought that they could compete this year. <laughs> but now that they know that they can't compete and Machado would walk in free agency, they knew that it was time to let him go. And there couldn't be a better suitor than the Los Angeles Dodgers. Earlier this year, we learned that Dodgers shortstop Corey Seager would need Tommy John surgery and would be out for the rest of the season. So the Dodgers have been moving around some pieces to play short since they didn't have a star piece at that position. But all of that changes now as Manny Machado has been traded to the Dodgers for a package that we do not know for sure yet. It sounds like the Dodgers prospect Diaz is a part of the deal, but their number one prospect Verdugo is not. Going off the report a few weeks ago, the Orioles turned down a trade for Machado that included Verdugo, and it looks like Diaz was the prospect that they wanted all along. I think Manny Machado and the amazing season of Matt Muncy is what can really take this Dodgers team off. Even though they are in first place, the Dodgers have been seen by most as underachieving. We all know they had a bad start at the beginning of the year. It's tough for teams that have a bad stretch like that to get things rolling again. Just look at how far the Mets have dropped off since April. But the Dodgers have started their turnaround and ended up in first place at the break. However, even with how great this Machado move is for the Dodgers, it's still not enough. With this addition, the Dodgers do have a good chance of making it to the World Series. Emphasis on the word making. The National League does have a few wildcard teams in the mitts, but it looks like it's going to be another Dodgers vs Cubs NLCS this year. But the American League powerhouses like the Astros, Yankees, Red Sox, and Indians currently overmatch any team that can come out of the National League and the Yankees barely have any starting pitching. It really doesn't matter who makes it out of the National League, whoever wins it in the AL will be huge favorites to win the World Series this year, especially if the Dodgers make it and they don't add any more pieces at the deadline. But what does this trade affect in the MLB offseason this year? Well, as we know, Manny Machado and Bryce Harper are both free agents at the end of the year, and at this point, it looks like both of them will test the free agent waters. To me, it looks like Manny Machado wants to become a Yankee. He liked a photo of him in a Yankee uniform on Instagram, which only happened a few days ago, by the way. And his nephew also said that he wanted him to play for the Yankees. And the Yankees could be a good possibility. They certainly have the money to do it. However, this move to LA could change that. Most free agents want two things when they look for a team, money and a big market. And that's something that not only New York, but Los Angeles has as well. We know that if Manny went to a team like the Brewers, there would practically be no chance that he would resign there. But depending on how things go in LA, I wouldn't be surprised if Manny does resign there during the offseason, but that move wouldn't make any sense unless they would plan on trading Corey Seager. Seager is a very good shortstop and you can't keep him on the bench next season. So if Machado does resign, then Seager is as good as gone. This also could eliminate teams like the Phillies, who are looking to land a bid star this offseason from getting such a star if Machado and Harper don't go there. The Phillies could basically be left in the dust. And speaking about Harper, what happens with Machado could highly affect where Bryce Harper goes. Teams can only afford to throw that kind of money at one of these players, and if Machado re-signs, is it possible we see a reaction from the Giants and they go after Harper? Only time will tell. 
overall i think this is a great trade for the dodgers if they win the world series this year if not then i don't really think this is a good trade for them machado is likely only a rental with seager coming back next season and we all know there is a sense of world series or bust in los angeles and if they go all in this year and fail their future will fail as well Thank you guys for watching and let me know what you guys think about the Manny Machado trade in the comments section below. If you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like and if you guys are new be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also hit that little bell icon thing and you will be notified every time there is a new video out. And speaking of new videos I did have a different video planned for today but I figured I would cover the Machado news first and the video I had planned will release sometime in the next two days. But thanks again, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. How do you do it?